Okay, in this video I'm going to discuss uh, some of the things I've been studying about Clovis points. I'm using this book here mainly. It's called the uh, Clovis Lithic Technology Investigation of a Stratified Workshop at the Galt Site in Texas. And um, it's a fairly new book. I think the copy, uh, yeah, copyright 2011. And uh, basically, if you get right to the heart of it, they found, for the purposes of this book, they detailed four complete Clovis points. And uh, they found a bunch of flakes and a bunch of uh, preforms and everything you could imagine uh, that occurs during the construction of one of these Clovis points. And as you can see, I don't know how clear that is. Let me zoom in again. These Clovis points are slightly different from each other. Even though they're the same material and at the same site, they were manufactured a little bit differently. This is what you would typically consider a Clovis. Now this one has a wider midsection, narrower base and uh, it's not fluted very deeply. This one has two flutes here, one flute there. The, this has two deep flutes but a very deep base as well. And these are the color photographs. I don't know how well you can see that. And it details them very well. It, it shows the uh, the side as well as the I mean the end as well as both sides. Okay, so from this information that I've been studying, I've uh, made a few, uh, I guess I, I can call them patterns for my own use. They divide the bifaces into a few different types. Uh, they're called the first roughed out chunk of rock, a primary biface. That's a uh, just roughly shaped from a spall and it has what they call sinewy edges or beveled edges in the book but all it means is that they, all that means is they remove the flat spots uh, some of these primary bifaces still do have cortex on them some of them still do have uh, a spot with the cortex on the on the margin or the edge but in general they're all pretty much bifaces now this is about average, I think it says 257 grams or 9.05 ounces, 142 millimeters by 78 millimeters by 23 millimeters thick. That's about average on the Galt site for Clovis uh, primary biface. Now the end product is very similar in dimension to this one here. Now this is just before the finishing flakes and just before the final fluting. Uh, I haven't prepared any platforms for fluting on this one but you can see the quite a bit of difference between what they start with what the actual artifacts uh, what the actual makers of the artifacts started with and what they ended up with. Uh, in the book it says that they lose about 85 percent of the weight of the primary biface uh, by the time they get to the uh, the final stage. 85% is lost. And that's not including breakages. So quite a bit of material is being used. Um, I think there's secondary bifaces. Let's see if I can remember. Yeah, primary bifaces, secondary bifaces, and preforms. So this would be a primary bi primary biface. This is a secondary biface more refined it's thinner it's a lot thinner and this is where you see a lot of the uh, platform preparation uh, ground and isolated platforms at, at this stage mostly what you see is abraded edges here you're getting more into the prepared um, platforms ground and isolated especially at the base or the tip uh, that you can also see them on the sides. Like I could grind this and isolate that and remove a large flake if I wanted to. 
but they call this a uh, secondary biphase and this is about average as well 107 grams or 3.75 ounces 115 millimeter by 55 millimeter by 15 millimeter thick so from this stage to this stage then you have preforms and this is about the average size for a preform now this is Edwards chert now the same type of chert that was found at the Galt site so the weights are very similar at this stage uh, this is where the, the fluting occurs uh, where most of the major flakes are taken from the base there may be some touch up flakes later at the final stage of the point but this is where the uh, the fluting takes place now I thought the fluting took place as one of the last steps of making one of these bifaces because that's what I do but in reality this preform is prepared and the, the fluting is removed on the preform and then final flakes are removed to thin the point down to uh, remove steps uh, sometimes the step at the end of the flute flake is removed sometimes it isn't and sharpened it's sharpened at that uh, at this stage and the fluting doesn't occur at the very end it occurs here at, at the preform stage at least at, at the galt site in texas so this is about average uh, it's 47 grams or 1.6 ounces 88 by 48 88 by 43 millimeters by 10 millimeters thick So primary biface, secondary biface, and preform. And then the final point here, it's not completed because I, I don't have much luck fluting, so I didn't want to risk breaking it, but this is basically a completed point that hasn't been reworked or anything. The, uh, the weight on this one is 20 grams, or 0.7 ounces. 76 by 32 millimeters by 8 millimeters thick. Now as it gets reworked and as it gets used uh, it'll get narrower and it'll get thinner. So this would be similar to a final stage. It's a little bit long uh, in comparison to this one but uh, it kind of gives you an idea of how a point looks like at the stage where it's been reworked quite a bit and it's getting a little bit too small and it will probably be uh, made into a different kind of tool it's about an inch wide I didn't put any measurements on this one I have another one that I did but I can't seem to find it anyway I'll make another video of a complete Clovis but this gives you an idea of the Clovis artifacts that were at the Galt site. Uh, as best I could, I tried to imitate what the book has in it. But I'll make some more detailed and more finished points in future videos.